Let's do an example to tie it all together. Let's say we've got a vector v equals 100 plus j50. Given in rectangular, let's convert to polar. Well, we're given our a and our b right here. So we know that to go to polar using a or b, r is going to equal the square root of a squared plus b squared, and theta is going to equal the inverse tangent of b over a. So our vector v in polar form will be the same thing as the square root of 100 squared plus 50 squared at an angle of inverse tan 50 over 100. Plug it in and solve and we end up V in polar equals 111.8 which is our magnitude at an angle of 26 0.57 degrees, which is up here. R would equal 111.8, and theta would equal 26.57. Now let's prove we did our math right, and let's go back and solve for a rectangular. V rectangular. Now we've got our polar components r and theta. So we're going to solve for our a and b. So a, our real component of our rectangular vector, is going to be the same as our magnitude r times cosine of theta. 26.57 degrees plus j, now we're solving for imaginary component, or b, is going to equal r, or magnitude, 111.8, times sine theta, which again is 26.57 degrees. We plug it into our calculator and we solve for our vector equals 100 plus j50 which is the same thing we start up with up top. Our A, 100, and our B, J, 50. So this value down here, A, would equal 100. B, right here, would equal 50. And where these intersect is our vector. And if we were to draw it all on the same triangle, we would have r equals 111.8, which is this length right here, or magnitude. Theta, our angle between the horizontal x-axis and our magnitude, would equal 26.57 degrees. Our real component, A, would be a length of 100, which is this length here. And our imaginary component on our J axis, B, would equal 50, which is this length right here. So there you have it, starting with polar, going to rectangular, starting with rectangular, going to polar. Uh, this is how we go back and forth between two vectors. Up next, we're going to be describing when to use rectangular and when to use polar, specifically for addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. For more sample problems and a premium review course, please visit us at www.electricalpereview.com.